Hola amigos. Welcome back to the cabin where spring has certainly sprung. This is officially my first spring at the cabin. Planet Earth has an axis. It's actually leaning. It's in the Northern Hemisphere, it's winter. And in the Southern Hemisphere, it's summer. And I cannot believe how much has changed in just the three weeks I was away. Everyone that's been here in the past week has commented first thing on how damn good it smells. And that is because the citrus trees here have all flowered. I wish you could smell it through the camera because it is amazing. And it's also attracting a lot of bees, which is really nice. And that is just one of so many changes that I am seeing on this property. I'm going to show you more of them as we go. I'm also going to give you an update on the roof, how that's going. Last week, I finally got a tow bar installed on Rocky, which is very important and pressing because I need to move this whole rubbish pile away. I need to take it to the tip for two reasons. One is that I have a new project starting this week in that space that involves me getting back into the van. And also, secondly, I am picking up a delivery tomorrow Probably the one I've been most excited about out of all of them. And that's saying a lot if you've seen my tools. I'm going to want all the grass clear. Cryptic enough for you. Meanwhile, you better believe this hot dog was happy to see me come back. Weren't you, buddy? Who's that? Hey, buddy. Oh, come here. Hello, there we go. Who's that, Oki? Oh, look at I, I just noticed your hair. <laughs> Too far. I'll get it. Oh boy, and it's still full of water. Now, as I'm sure a lot of you can appreciate, when you've got to do a garbage run, you kind of just want to do one. So it's about packing this properly, but also getting rid of some of the bigger items here that I've been meaning to get rid of for a while. Plus, I need their storage space, like this. Now, unfortunately, I was told this bad boy was in working order and it's not the case. This has taken up valuable real estate in what is going to be kind of my garden shed for at least a little while. Problem is, it doesn't turn on, so I gotta figure out how to get it onto the trailer. How heavy are you? Oc, wanna give me a tow? <laughs> well, that makes me nervous for trying to get it onto the trailer. No way am I getting out that. Well, spring cleaning is on, and I've got some very exciting projects on the way. But this is kind of how my last week's looked. I don't think that's how you frisbee, mate. Okay, no mail today. I have yellow bananas. I was told they would never ripen. Wow. It's not small, I'm just massive. Nothing beats homegrown. Another new sighting with spring. Wow, buddy, you are beautiful and you are huge. What are you? See ya, mate. And Oki has no idea. You are a terrible hunter, Ock, and I'm very glad for it. Hello, little leechy guy. What is Oki doing? Yeah, I'm looking at you. Ah. Oh. Mother f***er, something just bit me. Oh. Oh. Ow. This is the biggest hand I've ever seen. This is what just bit me on the hand. Look at him. 
He is absolutely massive. Did he get you too? Careful, buddy. This will be interesting. Pretty sure this is the point where Eamon would say I'd need a tractor. Aha. Take that, a lawnmower. Ah. She's a pretty full trail load. You ready to go to the tip, my little gentleman? Hmm? <laughs> Let's go. Oc, you are such a loud breather, buddy. Oc, he absolutely loves his little nook back there. And I'm not sure I've had you guys inside of Rocky before, but welcome. I absolutely love this beast and it makes driving these windy roads so much more comfortable. And now with the trailer, it's gonna be so much easier than behind the huge van. So I thought I would use this quick opportunity to address something that seems to be causing a hell of a lot of contention with, with you guys. And that is uh, my haircut, the Malay. Some of you have voiced that you love my hair short, and some of you have voiced you love my hair long. I would have thought this gives you uh, the best of both worlds. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that getting a simple haircut could cause so much contention between people. <laughs> I will say it's been a very good social experiment. I get for some reason some of you are triggered by the mullet, but I would say that it's probably not gonna be a permanent feature. It's just hair. I do appreciate your input though, so thank you. Now, let's head to the tip. Oki wants his window down. Look at all those bin chickens. That is why they get their name. The PTSD is real. If anyone remembers bin chickens. What are the chances I literally just hit a bin chicken? No. Oh, there's even Mark there. Even the view from the waste recovery center is nice. And hopefully, someone will salvage that mower. So quick stop off to pick up pipe fittings as I'm having issues with my water. And also, of course, essential takeaway coffee. I am now on the way to pick up something that I actually needed the trailer to be completely empty for because it is a big item. Can anyone guess what I'm picking up? Maybe pause it now and have a guess what I'm about to get. Oh, baby. Well, it's not a tractor. You helping, buddy? Thanks for supervising. When you have multiple projects on the go, <laughs> I just spent way too much time in Bunnings. You hungry, buddy? Me too. 
Good boy. Into the aircon. Little welcome home dance, Ock. Oh. Bit later than we thought. I think I'm going to show you it in the morning. I actually don't have time to film and set it up before I lose light. See you in the morning. Thunder has been going on everywhere here. I think it's about to absolutely pour down. I'm not upset though because we really need some rain here. It has been so dry. And don't worry, I've protected my baby. And my other baby's protected too, huh? We might have to go inside, buddy. I know you like it under there. Oh, come on. It's okay, buddy. Come on, we'll go to the van. It's okay, Oh, Buddy, it's okay. He doesn't like thunder. Oh, wait. It's okay, buddy. Pretty much the only thing Oki's okay scared of. You're okay, buddy. We'll ride this one out, eh? We're in no rush to go back outside. It's okay, buddy. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, then you probably would have seen my post from a few days ago in which I mentioned that just last week I was with my brother and I turned to him and I just said, I am the happiest I have been in a very long time. And it felt so good, not only feeling that way, but even saying it out loud just made me even happier because Reflecting back on the last couple of years, you know, there's been some really, really hard times. I've spent a lot of time working on myself and honestly, the therapy part of it was a huge, huge part in that me turning that around. And that is why I'm always so grateful when BetterHelp want to sponsor a video like they are today. I think seeing a therapist is so important. And if there is something that is interfering with you being happy, then please consider seeing a therapist. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is an online platform that makes seeing a professional licensed therapist easier. You simply fill out a questionnaire that helps assess your needs and then they'll match you with a therapist, often within as little as 48 hours. Because it's online, you can really do your therapy sessions in the version that's most comfortable for you. For me, most of the time, that's in the form of video calls, but you can also do normal phone calls or you can even just text them. If you think you could benefit from therapy, please consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description below or head to betterhelp.com forward slash Max That's help, H-E-L-P, and BetterHelp will give you 10% off your first month honestly I could not recommend it highly enough and I'll tell you right now it feels damn good to feel good how are you feeling off you feeling good you're looking a bit better <laughs> yeah you look much more relaxed now buddy The rain has kind of stopped. It is so beautiful out here in all forms, but yeah, I think just after the rain might almost be the prettiest time on the property. Check out another spring gift that the property has provided. I actually thought this tree was dead, but instead it is now thriving with mulberries. 
and they are so juicy and so delicious. Spring cleaning has already started on the property as you've seen and actually it started a week ago. Some of you might remember Christian. Christian's getting in on all the uh, little nitty gritty stuff here. <laughs> well, he came here last week and we started the clean up. A couple of the trees had come down in a storm whilst I was away and he was the first one to make mulberry jam. The boys had some fun. It's too good a timber not to save. So we're gonna try and drag the whole log and I wanna make some furniture out of it. It's red cedar, really good wood. I reckon I can surf it. You want a banana? Oh, no, it's a little guy. It's not the size that counts back. <laughs> Oh, nice! Christian has come in with homemade mulberry jam off the tree. I'm so keen to taste this. I'm so sorry you can't taste things through the camera because, wow. How much did it make? A whole jar? Yeah, there's a jar there. That is crack. <laughs> Holy shit. How much sugar's in that? There's not that much. Wow, that's a bit. Darwin at its finest. Kids, don't try this at home. And whilst I continue to procrastinate because I don't want to take that lumber off Rocky just yet, I know a lot of you will be anxious to see inside the house and whether it is dry. This is as good a test as any because it's just obviously poured rain and she is bone dry in here. Ceilings as well. And honestly, I think it was probably really good for the house that I had a few weeks away. I left all the windows open and really just let it air out. Seeing how much of a building site this is and how far off it is for me to be able to move back in. Buddy. I have made the decision that I'm reinvesting in van life. That is what all those building materials are for because I want to make my current living setup much more comfortable whilst I do this build. I want to just enjoy the process. As you can see, the property is already so beautiful and so nice to live on as is and I've been living in this van for years. So I don't need more space than that, but it would be nice just to extend that living space a little bit outside so it can be dry, have a dry area outside. And um, that's what we're doing. We are building something I've never seen before, a deck that wraps around the van. Starting tomorrow, we'll be getting into it. Morning. Simon is coming in two and a half hours. I accidentally slept in. I really want to get this mower going before he gets here. Let's see how we go. Installing the joystick. Insert the joystick through the dust cover as shown. Raise lower joystick base. I'm in love already. Probably one of my handiest tools. So the mower is ready to go and I have to admit I'm kind of too scared to drive it off the trailer right now. I'm trying to really bury him in. All right, brake is off. Oh, yep, yeah, we got momentum. All right. 
first obstacle done, even though it wasn't super smooth, but we've got the cutting disc over the thing. I'm getting used to this joystick already. And just go. <laughs> What's this, huh? Oh. <laughs> How do I go high speed? Woo! Well, <laughs> she's going to take a bit of getting used to, but wow. So this beauty is fully battery operated. It is the Ryobi 80 volt and it is able to mow up to five acres on a single charge. We have Simon arriving in less than an hour as well as some of the decking for the new deck. But right now, I just want to play. Ryobi, can't thank you enough. I've just been whizzing this thing around. I actually haven't even turned the blades on yet. I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of, of my, new, uh, my new love. So there's an LCD screen here that shows your battery level. It also, can, you can change your drive speed on there. Then you can change your blade speed. I reckon I'm gonna have that on. So there's an app I can pair it with. I'm not even sure what that does yet. The seat is so comfortable. It's got adjustable armrests. I've got a drink bottle holder, actually two. This is for extra 36 volt lithium batteries. So I've got those in there as well. That'll help me get the full, well, I've got about two and a half acres of grass to cut. And then on this side, it even has phone holders, two phone holders. It's got a USB port. And then on the back here, that is where the three 80 volt batteries sit. I think it's time for me to give you a bit more of a heads up about Simon. I know I've probably been a little bit mysterious essentially about him. Simon is essentially just one of you guys. He is a follower that has been following my journey for quite a while now. And when I started looking at land, he hit me up on Instagram and essentially said he owns a landscaping business. And if ever I wanted help with a landscaping project, he would be stoked to come up, camp for a few days and help me out. And that is what the legend is doing. We are going to be building the deck together over the next few days. I think I'm going to start it at the end of this video to give you a bit more of an idea of what's going to be involved but because it's got some really cool features i think the finished product is going to have to come in the next video so you're just going to have to hit that subscribe button and yeah i'll see you in that one and look at this guy come running i'm a little concerned oki is seems to be a little too in love with this mower already hey buddy you keep your distance you're not allowed within 30 meters of me while i'm operating this thing i think it's time to engage the blades I want to be with you I want to hold you in your sleep There's nothing we can do Look at that beautiful line running up the hill. You know sometimes you don't realize how much something needs a cut until after you cut it. It looks so much better. <laughs> and yes. Maybe that could be referring to my hair too. And I never thought I could have so much fun mowing the lawn. I'm going to look forward to this every week. Look how silent this thing goes. Nice to meet you, man. Everyone, meet Jake. Hockey, meet Jake. Good to meet you, mate. I'm not sure I got that on camera before. No, but no, hello. How's everyone, Simon. This is me. As I said, pretty surreal. <laughs> Seeing it in person. Yeah. You said the property looks even better in person. What do you reckon about the van? It actually, uh, it seen better days, but it's not too bad in there. No, no, no. For its, uh, for its age, it looks pretty good. Age and use. Yeah. It's a lot bigger than uh, it appears on YouTube. Haven't even put my clothes away. Real, real van life going on here. Nice. Here is the decking. Tell you what, it's all happening. Well, today truly feels like Christmas because Ben is dropping off the Eco Deck composite decking that I'm going to be using for the deck. So excited for this. We are just working out deck positioning at the moment.
you two are buddies. And yet to notice there's a toad right there. We don't want you licking toads. You're weird enough, Hockey. Oh, you want me to throw the stick? You want me to throw the stick? Right. So the plan is, we have a deck starting here that's going to run along along this way and then it is going to tee. So there's going to be going right and left here. If we look to the right in this space here that Oki has perfectly marked is going to be the outdoor shower on top of the deck with this beautiful kind of natural screening palm to the left. Simon, what do we got? We've got it wrapping behind the van, perfectly level, of course, the van too. And so then that way it's a walk through around the van increases that space but then if you look from inside the van as simon is showing this is the view you get from inside the van and right in the middle of it is that glorious fig tree down the bottom which i absolutely love i cannot wait for this deck Two old boys. This is going to be such a sick outdoor it's, shower yeah, in it's here. Yeah, huge. Sorry, shrub. Oh, this one's prickly. Oh, he's got you. Oh boy. We may need to do some landscaping. I want to move with you. I want to sweep you off your feet. God, I love that thing. I feel like not only was that extremely that enjoyable. But it was a really good test. Have a look at that. I need to get one. Simon just asked if we should see if we can pick it up first before we show it on camera. If it makes sense. Simon, you know, I filmed, I filmed the real. This is the real life. It's an inverted T, so this is the bottom of the T, if you understand me. <laughs> and then this will run the same that way. It's huge. It's a huge deck. Oh, you're giving it the nod of approval, eh, buddy? Not a bad couple of hours work. Simon, you're an oh. absolute legend. Here you go, buddy. It's knockoff time. Thanks, bud. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh. Cheers, Big Ears. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Mm. Thanks for watching. Mm. Guys, Simon has driven up seven and a half hours on his long weekend to help me out on this one. If you ever need a landscaper in Sydney, best mate landscapes, hit them up, and if you want to see just how fine a work they do, you'll have to stick around for the next video because that is when we're going to be completing this deck. Also, tomorrow morning, first thing, I have to duck back into town. Why do I have to do that, Simon? Because someone forgot to order enough timber, but we'll blame Oki. I did like triple check with, <laughs> with Simon how many pieces we need, but hey, it's all part of it. And you two good boys, say goodbye to everyone. Jake, are you a good boy? Are you a good boy, Ock? <laughs> okay. Hey. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Be kind to yourself, be kind to one another, and I'll see you in the next one. I just love it here.